Kawan Kakar. He is the advisor or former advisor to uh, former Afghan President Hamid Karzai. Thanks so much uh, for speaking to us. We appreciate it. Given all the complaints, you know, of, of corruption sure. and tampering that we've heard about, Hassan was just describing there, do you still feel this vote has merit? I think we will see what happens. I think, no doubt, elections are happening under very difficult circumstances. The threats, the attacks that were talked about in the kind of uh, vast insecurity in vast areas of the country. Uh, but I think still uh, we will see how tomorrow pans out. Uh, uh, what Taliban do? Do they really engage in large-scale attacks or many attacks in many parts of the country? Or as in the past where they have threatened, and yes, some attacks do take place, but people uh, in large numbers show up in, actually in defiance and do cast their vote. And I think the other big concern is kind of the irregularity that may take place, uh, that may, uh, you know, this time the electoral process has become more technical. There are a lot more, take like barriers in order to prevent fraud. But some of those, you know, they're using biometric machines. They're voting uh, lists, like in the last parliamentary elections. Uh, the lists of voters were not sent to the proper places, in all places. So there are, I would say, a lot of variables. Mm -hmm. uh, but tomorrow is the election day. And really, uh, I think now, as in the past, there have been attacks and no threats. But actually, the elections have more or less progressed and have been accepted. Okay. okay. Again, uh, we should overall prepare for problematic elections. Exactly. I mean, it, it sounds like, yes, I mean, in spite of just the triumph of being able to hold an election in this kind of insecurity uh, in Afghanistan, it's still, you're, what you're outlining there is whatever the result, it will be challenged because there are just too many questions uh, about the legitimacy. Uh, I think, uh, no, you're absolutely right. I think, uh, but also some of these challenges or allegations are kind of pre-polling positions. Uh, the other thing to understand is also we do not have surveys, like reliable surveys that, could, uh, that can ascertain the popularity of the candidates accurately. So each candidate is kind of positioning, claiming that they will be victorious unless there's fraud. So uh, some of that will those kind of claims will be in place. But yes, again, no doubt uh, there are uh, like systematic problems, issues. But uh, okay. again, uh, we have had in the past these issues as well. But right. I think more or less things have uh, been accepted at the end. Okay. You know, Hassan's report earlier actually focused on the economy and the real lack of development uh, in Afghanistan. So you know, with the continuing corruption, with the lack of security, and now with the Taliban, looking to come back into the political fold, how do you expect uh, the economy to fare post-election, whatever the result? Well, it's usually what the choices that Afghans have. I think uh, people are looking at certainly uh, that peace can actually bring in an economic uplift that uh, right now is uh, making it very difficult for many people. So. Peace by itself will be seen as a, a boost to economy, kind of uh, improve livelihood. And I think elections, the idea is that uh, with you know, going over elections, having an elected government that can engage in a, a peace process, that actually uh, we will have improvements in the livelihoods of the people. Afghanistan, no doubt, is moving through a very critical and difficult process. Uh, uh, situation, the economic, I mean, the political transition, the economic, uh, basically serious issues. But at the same time, it has a lot of uh, potential and possibilities. So uh, we hope that we, with these big national processes moving forward, that Afghanistan would be in a stable position, uh, or at least improved position, that it can, like, utilize its. Uh, okay. Abundance for the good of its people. Right. Kabun Kaka, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from Kabul.